Fusion Acquisition Corp just popped 9% yesterday. How do we get on this high-flying SPAC without losing our edge? Welcome to the Ready, Set, Trade, Trade of the Day for Tuesday, the 29th of December. Here is the daily chart of Fuse or Fusion Acquisition. And you can see this huge gap yesterday based on a rumor of whom they might be picking up. So we have this enormous, what's called a gap here. And this is not something that we wanna chase after. In fact, what you'll find for anybody that's traded long enough that those that chase that gap, that ape into a position because it's running almost universally regret entering at this point. Now, price could go and just run on from here on in and I'd be okay with this because the probability show me that this gap will eventually be filled at some point. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any options to play on this stock yet, perhaps in the future. But for now, if we still wanna get on this play, what we'd have to do is set up a limit order down here at 1050. Regardless of your trading platform, there's always a way to do this in TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. I'm going to go over to the Trade tab and on Fuse, when I go to enter an order, I'm going to right click and say Buy. And then instead of the current price, which is 1170, I'm going to enter 1050. And here's the important part. This can't be just a day order because more than likely it's going to take several days for that gap to be filled. This is why we need to change this to good till canceled. Generally, these orders will last about 60 days or so before they will be dissolved. So all the price has to do from the current level at 1160 something is to drop down to 1050, get filled down here, and then we'll be ready to watch the price appreciate from that point. A lot of times that's exactly what will happen because there'll be a buy wall sitting down there of other folks that are waiting to get on board with the gap fill. Now there's one more way that we can get on board Fuse for a significant discount, and that is through using the warrant. The warrant is just like buying a coupon or a call option without all the moving parts. So what we're gonna do is go over here to the ticker, and in this case, the warrant is Fuse slash WS. And that's our warrant ticker to be able to trade this. Now we can actually chart that warrant and you can see the gap here is just about $2 per warrant. So right now the, the current warrant for Fuse is up here at about 251. If we just submit that same limit order for $2 per warrant, we can do the same thing as with the stock for a whole lot less capital. So this is a leveraged version of the stock with not a whole lot of downside to using this derivative. So same deal, we'll go to the trade tab for the warrant and we go to right click here and buy and we're gonna set that price to $2, which is where that gap was. And again, here's the important part. We need to set this for good till cancel when we submit that order. Now the position size here, you can buy one warrant, which is equivalent to one share of the stock. So you can buy as many warrants as you want to, but again, I would leave this to no more than 10% of your current risk capital. That is today's trade of the day. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next one.